Well, Gary, Sean Murphy had a, a black to beat you there, and uh, he potted it, but you've won the game. The Y went in there. What's uh, the rules again? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the crowd, everyone watching it was just a bit unsure of what was going on, really. I think Sean probably couldn't believe it. Yeah, it was just, it was a really strange game. Um, Sean's, Sean's a lovely bloke, and he took it in great spirit, but yeah, to go in off in the end on the black, I mean, I was, I was the most surprised out of anybody, just yeah. because... I'm sitting there in my chairs, he's clearing up, and I've never actually won a game at this venue. And that was in my mind as he was, as he was clearing up there towards the end. Like, I think I maybe he's won a Championship League group game or something a couple of years ago, but literally every single time we've played here, I've lost. Like, I can't win a game here for some reason at this venue. And, and then it, was, it just seems like a bit of fate, in the, or look, you know, a bit of the law of averages sort of thing like I'm thinking I can't win I'm going to lose again and all of a sudden something stupid like that happens and he goes in off at the end and you just think right that's maybe just evened it out slightly there but how he's gone in off I've got no idea I don't know if it was a kick or what what did he say to you I mean because I was watching on a monitor backstage but I I didn't see what the interaction was like afterwards I think I'd have probably snapped my cue (laughs) I wasn't far. I was actually wasn't far away from giving away that cue. I'm just playing with a new cue myself at the moment, and it just didn't feel great with it there. Um, just felt heavy, and yeah, he just said, "I don't know what happened there." I says, "Was it a kick?" He says, "It, it just seemed to throw wide." I mean, the black went into the thick part of the pocket. Right. So I don't know if it was that plus a little bit of a kick as well, yeah. or whether it was just because he hit it a bit thick. I don't know, but. Yeah, as I say, I'm, I'm as surprised as anybody to still be in the tournament, to be honest. In the, in the media room that we're in now, you've, we've not got the benefit of being able to watch table three, yeah. so we, we didn't get to see all sorts of... But you were quite, you were quite critical there. On the, on, the, on the match sheet, it looks like a great match, and it looks like you both sc- scored OK, and you, you made a couple of good breaks. But you yeah, were quite I, critical. I'm always critical, you know me, but I'm not just saying it. Like if, you've got yeah. to, if you watch the game back, I've missed so many easy balls. I've played so many bad safeties. I just didn't feel comfortable at all. I was... As I say, I've been using that cue for a couple of weeks now, and I thought I was really happy with it and yeah. feeling good. And I'm not, I'm not green to new cues. As in, like I know my first match is going to feel a bit iffy, yeah. but that felt really, really bad. Like but I remember even like with your technique. I remember after the World Championship semi-final, everyone yeah. was like, "Right, is it announced himself?" And you, you, you were kind of like, "No, I don't really like my game. I don't really like my my action." Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just critical in the sense that I wish I could be, I wish I could be playing at the standard of one of the top top players. Yeah. You know, it's frustrating knowing that I'm at a certain level, and there's there's things missing that are stopping us. From I guess it's a bit there. of a balance because you've got to have a, a vision, haven't you? That you are that you are a, a, a great player and a, yeah. an idea of what you want to achieve. Yeah. But I think you're too tough on yourself as well. Cheers, but um, I, I know these good things. I mean, I, I sound all negative when I'm in my interviews and things. I yeah. know the good things as well deep down. I know how heavy a scorer I am. I know how. When I'm playing decent and I feel okay, I've got bottle. I know I can do a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things, but there's just certain areas that when you've presented with certain shots in games and you need to get them shots, half the time, like I'm, I'm, I'm losing a lot of frames from 40, 50 ahead because I just can't play that one or two shots that I need to play just to kill it off. And um, yeah, I went into the blue on 40 odd, went into the pack off the blue on 40 odd there, and I could see like a little plant that was destined to go into the corner. So I didn't want to commit and play it properly, and that's just lack of confidence as well. So I knew I was going to have to try and grind the frame out, and just every time I kept playing a shot, I kept leaving one over the hole or something. And just as I say, the way it felt like it was going, and, and then as I say, it gets into your head that you've never won here, and it, you're just destined to lose another one. Have you been from the sort of the part of the world that you're from? Have you, is that something ingrained? Do you think you, you, you're meant to be quite tough on yourself, work hard, and, and, and always you know, relentlessly? work hard possibly maybe I mean it's just my nature you know I'm always hard on myself but as I say believe it or not I do like look at positives as well hmm. I mean I, I wouldn't be able to play to even half the standard I can play to if I didn't think positively as well if I was just negative and all the time I'd just crumble and I'd be I wouldn't even be on the tour probably but yeah it's just obviously I talk about the negatives because I'm striving to tell people like what I need to do to improve and I tell myself what I need to do to improve but I've tried. I'm 37 years old. I've tried and tried and tried, and I'm just struggling with, as I say, a couple of things, just to push us that bit further. But trying new cues and trying different bits, just to try and get them extra few percent, just to try and get there in a roundabout way somehow, you know. But it's the end of the day. We won a game there and just keep battling on and see what happens. It's all you can do, isn't it? We hope to see you smiling this week. Cheers. Thanks very much.